Bella Thorne came onto the scene as a child actor in projects like Entourage, The O.C., and more. She worked with actors like Taylor Lautner, Matt Damon, before ending up on Disney's Shake It Up. From there, it was upwards and onwards for the budding star. It's no surprise that Bella's style from her preteen years to now has grown. Today we'll talk about how Bella took her look from Disney girl to captivating temptress over the course of her career. What's going on guys? My name is Paloma Lopez here on another episode of Before and After Transformation. Bella was destined for Disney. Named after Belle on Beauty and the Beast, her birth name is actually Annabelle Avery Thorne, which she shortened soon after she started acting. But her very first gig in the show business, believe it or not, was a model at the age of six weeks old for Parents Magazine. In a recently released Vogue documentary, Bella says, One thing I can thank my mom for, ever since I was literally six weeks old, when I started modeling, all the way to now, I have literally worked every single day of my life. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty impressive. From her earliest appearances in Disney movies and shows, Bella has been transforming both her personality and style. Back in 2008, Bella Thorne showed up on the red carpet for the premiere of My Own Worst Enemy, rocking a bell sleeve jacket over a black and pink tutu and slick cowboy boots. At only 10 years old, it was clear that Bella was not afraid to express her attitude through fashion. Just one year later, she showed up again at the premiere of the Jonas Brothers 3D concert experience, looking wild with a head full of crimped hair and a metallic miniskirt around her waist. Once again, she walked the red carpet in a pair of tall boots, which seemed to be the shoe of choice for her preteen years. In fact, this era of Bella's fashion life is littered with these unique tutu-centric outfits that tell you she has plenty of personality to bring to Hollywood. From here, Bella started to transform her look, dropping the preteen rock star wardrobe in favor of a more modern look. Not only did her fashion sense mature, but her face did too, losing some of that childhood roundness and taking on a sharper, sleeker profile. Here she is in 2010, posing for the cameras when she was still only 13 years old. The crazy color and texture combinations are completely gone and replaced with clean contrasts between black and white. This, in combination with her new and elegant looks, makes it hard to believe that it's the same Bella from just a year before. Seriously. Then, the young Bella had a revelation that would propel her forward on her fashion journey. Dresses and hair straighteners. Her wardrobe transformed from multi-piece extravaganzas to simpler, more holistic outfits. When asked in 2012 about her red carpet fashion choices, she had this to say. Since there are many people and you never know what the color of the carpet is, it's hard to plan an outfit. If the carpet is blue and my legs are showing, then it reflects the blue on my legs because I'm so pale. I usually just go with things that are very simple, clean. I really like bright colors right now. I like clean cut, very proper, very elegant looks. In that same interview, she described her personal style in three words. Different, stylish, and fun. But even after transitioning to cleaner, more simple outfits, she still made sure to remind us of who she is at heart by showing up in pieces such as this hard leather dress with polka dot sleeves. This mature, elegant style stuck with her through her teens and even as her career and fame grew. But it didn't stay that way forever. Fast forward to today, past a few controversies here and there, and Bella is a different girl. In a short documentary in collaboration with Vogue, Bella describes her childhood as rigid and controlled. She felt that growing up in the limelight meant that she was not free to do what she wanted. In her own words, you have to dress this way, you have to talk like this, they hold me to this unfair standard, she said. Upon turning 18 in 2015, she realized that she was no longer under any obligation to act according to anyone else's rules. She describes the revelation in her documentary. If I wanna kiss my boyfriend in a coffee shop, I'll do that. If I wanna wear these shorts, I'll wear them because I feel like it. But all of this, of course, gets me backlash. When people look at you, you have to be covered up or else you're a slut of some sort. You know, whatever they wanna call you, whatever demeaning term they think fits best. Still, none of this backlash ever stopped her from expressing who she was for the world to see. In recent years, Bella has come out with outfits that range from sexy to elegant to even edgy. Whether it be through her music career, her acting choices, or her fashion style, Bella has made a departure from the Disney girl that the world first saw. After growing through the clean, mature fashion of her adolescence, Bella has found herself returning to the more expressive, the punkier, and the more glittery side of her fashion sense. Oh, and she's back to wearing boots again. 
This has been Bella Thorne's Celebrity Transformation. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to click subscribe. And if there's anyone else you'd like me to document next, be sure to write it down in the comment section down below. Until next time.